Welcome to this video on the electrophilic addition mechanism. In this video I intend to explain the meaning of the term electrophile as well as the term addition in the context of the mechanism as well as point out what to look out for when drawing the mechanism in the exam. Okay, starting with the term electrophile, it is a species that will accept a lone pair of electrons the term literally means electron loving, although that's not a suitable term to write down in the exam. As for the meaning of addition, it's the process by which a molecule usually adds across a double bond, causing saturation in the process. Okay, so for the purpose of illustration, we're going to use the molecule ethene here, reacting with hydrogen bromide. And classically, this mechanism has three stages to it, or three steps that you have to draw. And so we'll begin with the electrophile, which in this case is the hydrogen. Now remember our definition of an electrophile as a species that can accept a lone pair of electrons. The reason why the hydrogen will accept the lone pair of electrons is because itself it is electron deficient, slightly at this end, hence the delta plus charge. Now why is it electron deficient slightly at this end? It's because the bromine is more electronegative and hence it withdraws electrons from the bond towards itself, causing this end to become delta negative or slightly negative. And therefore, we have an electron rich area here in the double bond. And the double bond will actually donate a lone pair of electrons to the hydrogen here, which will accept. And so, therefore, this is our electrophile. The electrophile then adds across a double bond here, like so. And in the meantime, while the electrons moved in this direction towards the hydrogen, it means that this carbon is now electron deficient. And so therefore the bromide ion with its lone pair will then move in and donate a lone pair of electrons there. The end result is that we've added the hydrogen bromide molecule across the double bond here, causing saturation in the process and forming a new substance, bromoethane. The key thing to look out for when drawing the mechanism is that the curly arrows must go in the direction that the lone pair of electrons are moving. So sometimes you will see students drawing the curly arrow in this direction, which is incorrect from the hydrogen towards the double bond, whereas electrons begin here, and so therefore the curly arrow must go in this direction. Similarly here, the curly arrow must go in the direction that the lone pair is moving and finally here the curly arrow in the direction that the lone pair moves. The other common mistake that students make is to actually omit the carbocation. It's very important that you have a positive charge here because of course it is electron deficient and the curly arrows must begin actually on the double bond itself or on the bond itself in this case and these are the common pitfalls that are made. If you avoid those, this should be an easy three marks in the exam.